Awesome. Bienvenidos. Welcome. So today we have, uh, as every Thursday, we have a really yummy recipe that we're going to make with Chef Lana. And before we do that, we're going to talk about um, growing food, right? So how to grow food, and then we're going to cook. And in between, we'll do some movement because it's, it's good to move your body to keep active and you know, um, bring energy into your life. So let me just share my screen with you. We're gonna start, um, let's see where this is. Awesome. Can you all see my screen? It's coming. Yes? Show me a thumbs up if you can see it. Awesome, great. So, Okay. So who can recognize my friends on the picture? That's st they're standing right by the farm stand. Who's that? Does anyone recognize those those friends? Chef Lana? <laughs> Well, I think I've seen them before. <laughs> you think you've seen this guy, these friends before? Who's that? Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is Jonathan. And who's this other friend right here? Who's that? <laughs> That's our friend Miguel. And Miguel and Jonathan came by the stand yesterday and they were able to pick up their help box and also their little chef aprons, which they're wearing right here. And for this class, Miguel and Jonathan are gonna be our farmers. So they're gonna be our farmers for today and they're gonna take us on a trip to the farm. So right now they're at the farm stand and what do you notice about the, their aprons? What do you notice about their aprons? It says that uh, I love farmer's markets. Yeah, it says I love farmer's markets. What else? What's Miguel doing with his hands? He's putting his hands on the pocket. Yeah, so these aprons have little pockets mm -hmm. and farmers wear these aprons that have pockets so they can put their tools inside. If they're at the farm stand, like Miguel and Jonathan right here, maybe they want to put money in their pockets or change to give to people, right? Um, Jonathan actually has some help bugs in his pockets, in his April, apron pockets. So. So Jonathan and, and Miguel today are farmers, right? Right now they're at the farm stand. They've taken some of their um, crops to sell at the farm stand, but now they're gonna take us to the farm. So let me go to the farm here. Whoa. Here Miguel and Jonathan are at the farm. Now, I'm gonna move this here, let's see. And Lana, can you see that strip? No, okay, good. So Jonathan and, and Miguel are at, at the farm and those plants um, are actually bean plants. So beans grow out of those plants, some beans grow um, climb up, right? And some others look like bushes. So my question for you guys is, how do farmers take care of their crops? What do they have to do? Watering. Yeah, they have to water them. Oh, there's a watering can. <laughs> 
Now, if they have a big, big farm, they're probably use some kind of, some other kind of irrigation system that will let them water at big scale, right? Like in this farm. What else do they need to do? They need to water, right? That's one. Harvest. Harvest, yes. That's gonna come at the end because before we harvest, there's a whole lot that has to happen before harvesting. So what else? What do farmers do when plants that don't belong there show up? What, what is that? Pick it up. Yeah, they pick it up, they weed. They weed. Yes, yes, uh, Gustavo, thank you, they weed. And for weeding, Sometimes they use the handrake. Can you pretend to take your handrake? They just like rake all of the weeds out. And sometimes they also use their hands. And then the last thing they do is um, they use the scissors for this. Uh, they're called shears. There's one more thing that they do to activate the plant to grow more. <laughs> so Claudia, y para los papás, los granjeros también cortan las plantas para activarles el crecimiento. Eso se llama pruning. They prune. Uh, wow, those are mm -hmm. our pruning shears right there. Uh, like you can get haircut so her hair grows faster. <laughs> yeah. Sí, para que las plantas crezcan bonitas y se tengan buena forma, se les hace con el prune. Yeah. Ay, Dígame, Claudia. Que digo, para que las plantas crezcan y se vean bonitas, se tienen que, a, que cortar. Las... Ajá, ¿no? también les cortan las, las hojas secas. So, sí, por... Ajá, sí. Yeah. So these are all of the my, farmers' tools, my, right? Some of the farmers' tools. My, they have. There's a lot this? more. Um, there's a lot more tools that um, that they'll use. But for now, these are the three ones. So it can take anywhere from. Actually, to grow beans, it takes about two months to grow beans. So all of this is this is gonna happen for a while, right? And now. We're ready to harvest. Let's see what Miguel and Jonathan have harvested for us. But before I show you the next slide, I want us to take a minute to write on our piece of paper, to write or draw uh, the beans that you know, right? So which types of beans have you eaten at home or that you've seen some people eating? Um, you can make a picture of it or you can just write it down and we're just going to give you a few more a few minutes to do that and then we're ready i'll show you the next slide got it <laughs> so i see some friends already either writing or drawing and we're just drawing or writing the types of beans that we know what kinds of beans are we familiar with? Beans? Beans, yes. Black beans. That's what we want to, we want, we're, um, we're just writing or drawing the types of beans that we know. If you have color pencils, that's great. If not, it's okay with just a pencil and you can label your drawings. Okay, I see my friends, pencils and pens moving. Great. Dun, 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 dun. Chef Lana, do you have a favorite bean? Mm, 
I'm not going to give it away because then somebody's going to write it down. <laughs> I'll see if anybody writes my favorite bean down. Oh, I'll see if anybody writes my favorite bean. I want to see if you guys know. Ooh, what is that, Miguel? Oh, that's a little, it's a cool, is that a koala? <laughs> it's an elephant with artist's nose. Oh, <laughs> pobre, que le pasó a su nariz? <laughs> Great. So friends, how are we doing with our drawings? If, if um, anybody already finished, you can show me your thumbs up. And that way we know how much time. If you need more time, you can show me a thumbs down and we'll still wait for you. Steven, are you, are you drawing your favorite beans? <laughs> All right. So I think I see some friends' feet way <laughs> moving. <laughs> I don't see pencils. All right. Let's see. I'm going to count backwards from 10. Does that sound good? Enough time for people? And for Adrian, who just came in, I believe, we are drawing our, the types of beans that, are, that we're familiar with. I'm done. Okay, great. Thank you for letting us know. Okay, so how about we take turns showing everyone what we drew or, or wrote on our papers and we can talk about that. So let's see who wants to go first and show us or talk about uh, what they wrote or draw or drew. Gustavo, you want to do it? No? What about Aide, Gabi? Los tenemos que pintar o nada más podemos hacer una Las lista de los frijoles. Wait. Eh, solo está bien si está bien si no están pintados. No importa. Ok, yo tengo cinco. <risa> A ver, ¿nos quiere mostrar el dibujo? Bueno, nada más dice. O las describió. Mis niñas están haciendo los de ellas. Oh. Eh, yo puse frijoles negros. Los cafés, okay. los rosados, el chiquito que decimos nosotros, Quiji. Ya. Yeah. Y Quiji. el friger, fri, Ajá. Ya. Yeah. Bueno, nosotros lo comemos con chile y carne de puerco. Oh, chévere. Y, wow. Nunca y, se había escuchado de ese. Oh, ok. Y el ayocote, el frijol grande. Oh. Aide, ¿lo puede acercar un poquito a la cámara para verlo de más cerca? Oh, cool. Look at that. Those are nice. Thank you. Okay. Right. Mis, ahorita mis niñas enseñan los de ellas. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Miguel, you want to you wanna tell us about what you wrote or drew? Green beans. Black beans. Black beans? Okay. Another black beans? Yeah, black beans are popular. What about pinto beans? Pinto beans, yes. Pinto beans too. That's another kind. Green. There's many, many kinds of beans. Let's see what else uh, my other friends have. Does anyone have something different or something to add on to that list? I don't know. ¿no? ¿Verdad? Las, las chicas también dibujaron algo, ¿no? Sí, las chicas también todavía están dibujando. Oh, okay. What about um, Steven? Do you have another type of bean that you want to show us? Anyone else? Hmm. All right. I guess. Well, so we we had a, a, a good list there, plus the pinto beans that Gustavo shared with us. So if we are ready and some friends are not going to show us our their drawings, should we wait for you guys? Girls, 
I'm not putting you on the spot. You can tell me, Maria, you can move on. All right, we can come back to you, okay? Wait. Okay, wait, perfect. <laughs> so we had pinto beans, black beans, we had kidney beans, the red beans that uh, I just uh, grew, and then two other kinds of beans that I didn't know about. Um, Canary. What was that? Canary beans. Canel cannellini beans. Yeah, those are the white beans. Yeah. Good. Good example. See, canary. Awesome. Como lo que voy a comer ahorita, I, love, I like that bean, Adrian. That one is actually sprouting. <laughs> <laughs> it's already uh, sending a shoot up, right? Good. That looks like a kidney bean to me. Very good. Yeah, All right. I think we are are my my friends. Ooh, let's see. <laughs> Great. Dile. Quijis. Pero dile quién eres. ¿Cómo te llamas, mami? Ángeles. Ángeles. Yeah. Estos son negros. Yo no puedo jugar. Estos son los rosados. Estos son los cuijis. Y estos son los ayocotes. Wow, thank you. Tú dile eso. Ángeles. Yo puedo usar estos frijoles para hacer clacoyos. Clacoyos. Oh, wow, thank you for that. Awesome. La mamá de mi papá. Tu abuelita. Mm -hmm. Yay. Oh, I was hoping like some grandma recipe would come up on the conversation. So thank you for sharing that. Yes. Thank you for grandmas who show us how to use food, right? And how to I'll continue try. to cook like that. Yes. All right. I'm ready for you. Thank you, Angeles. Okay, we're ready for uh, a idea. No, este es este Santi primero. Santi, dale. Dale, Santi. Explícale. Estos son los negros que comemos solo negros con tortillas y los brown beans que mi mamá le gusta hacer con arroz. Ooh, qué bien. Thank you, friends. Él, ella, él no conoce mucho, pero yo tengo varios. <laughs> los, que, los que hicimos yeah. pues, yo hice wow. y mi plantita verde cuando apenas están en la vaina yeah. <laughs> y después puse la planta café cuando ya están maduros uh -huh. y entonces tengo aquí cuatro o cinco diferentes tipos de frijoles que sería el grandote es el ayocote yeah. el otro es el pink lo conocemos así por, por el frijol pink o rosado Los bayos, los frijoles bayos, eh, los frijoles negros y los frijoles pintos. Oh, los bayos, esos son, esos no conocía tampoco. Sí. Thank you so much, Aide. Those are great. Thank you guys for drawing and for, uh, for writing and sharing. Somos unos pintores, pero ahí le tratamos. No, está perfecto. Oh my God. I'm so happy to see your drawings, you guys. Cool. Well, so... Moving on to the next slide, I'm gonna show you some of the beans that you already showed us, actually. This happened to be the most popular ones. So when I click, they're gonna show up on the screen. Those are the kidney beans or the red beans that some of you drew, right? Yeah. Then Maria, we have... Pero... Claudia? Maria Steven, no le gustan los frijoles. Oh, no le gusta. <laughs> y uno. Ya, yeah, ya me imaginaba. La mamá no le enseña a comer. No, porque no le gustan. Y él, es, él dice que no le gustan. Yo hice como, yo exactamente ahorita hice los frijoles canaris cocinados, pero a él no le gusta el frijol. Oh, justamente vamos a usar los frijoles blancos en la receta, pero Chef Lan is going to talk more about that. So, friends, I have the kidney beans, the red ones, the pinto beans, 
The black bean, it has eyes and a mouth here. That's an animated one. And the stream beans are my favorite type of beans. Those are longer ones. Um, and you can just sometimes eat them raw um, when right off the plant. So that's when they're super delicious too. So Jonathan and uh, Miguel brought all of these beans to the market in their baskets to sell at the farm stand. How about that? Thank you guys. If we don't have any farmers, we don't have any food, right? So I want us to all say together, thank you farmers. So I want you to activate your microphone and we all can say thank you farmers um, at once. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you farmers. Yes, without farmers, we are nothing friends. That's the that's the drawing that Adrian did when it was shooting up, sending out the the leaves out of the ground. good friends can you all hear me good so what yes. did you what did you notice about the plant let's talk about some things that you noticed in the video angeles did you like the music Sí, se quedó bailando aquí todavía. <laughs> <laughs> Santi, what did you what did you guys notice about the plants? Some some noticings. What did you observe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What grows on the plant over time? What grows on the ground? That's it. La vi. La vi. Right. So this is this is a bean plant, right? But we didn't see any flowers yet. So this bean plant needed more time to produce beans. So that's one thing that we might have noticed. There were no flowers in it yet, just leaves. What else? The roots grew and spread in the, in the dirt. Yeah. Did you notice how the roots just kept spreading and taking up more space? Yeah. That's what the plant needs to do to like grow strong. Should, um, send its roots everywhere. One more noticing. Anyone else want to share something that they saw? We me, love to. Me, me. You notice the beans? Okay. Well, yeah. There. 
Squash. There were no beans yet. There were just leaves. Santi, go ahead. I saw the roots going, growing so big. Yeah, yeah. They were like going everywhere. And did you all notice how the bean was dancing? Going like this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So plants are alive, friends. Just like us. Alive and thriving. Okay. So now we're going to um, hear from Chef Lana. and She's going to show us. We are now in the kitchen. And we're going to start cooking, guys. So if you have an apron, you can put it on. You can put on your pretend chef hat if you want to keep the hair well, out of the food. Somebody... What was that? Well, you already have an apron. <laughs> yeah. Why did you say apron? You, apron? you don't give me nothing the apron. You got to come by the stand. So Miguel and, uh, Miguel and Jonathan came yesterday and we had those aprons. So if you okay. don't have an apron, come by. Next time you pick up the help box, we okay. have aprons for everyone. Yeah. You, you, okay. You can... You can be in the presentation for the next week. Yeah, we can have some other pretend cooks and farmers, okay? So now, let's hear from Chef Lana. We're gonna make a pepper and white bean recipe. Um, so get ready to, to hear that and definitely try it at home. Yeah, so we'll talk about, you guys can hear me okay? Yeah? Okay. Yep. So we'll talk about, we talked about beans, right? Lots and lots of types of beans, but there's also lots and lots of types of peppers too, right? Can you guys name different types of peppers that you use at home? Purple peppers. Purple peppers, okay. Oh, good. What other kinds of peppers? Yellow, red, and orange. Yes, those, okay, yep. I think I have a few of those. Green. Green. green peppers yeah um what about what are they called what are these called pepper, pepper. what kind of pepper? pepper and yellow pepper they also have a name they look like something they, they look vegetables. Like vegetables. 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 vegetables you know the thing that rings bells bell peppers michael yeah. <laughs> Like other kinds of peppers. Mike. What are those really hot ones called? Uh, pepper. What kind? Do you have cilantro there? Ooh. Or is it basil? <laughs> um, I have also a little quiz for you guys. We've made three recipes so far where we've used peppers. Can you remember what we've made that had peppers in them? Ooh, think back. The thingy with the watermelon, the drink. Yeah, wow, great memory. The infused water. What kind of peppers were those? Do you remember? The ones that- Spicy peppers. Okay, spicy. Do they have a name? Jalapenos. Jalapenos, very good, excellent. Yeah, okay, jalapenos. Those are the little ones, right? The jalapenos, the really spicy ones, that you have to be very careful. You even have to like clean them with gloves sometimes, so you don't get it on your hands. Then we made, what did we make last week? Do you guys remember? A salad? Yeah, a slaw, right? And what kind of peppers did we use there? Uh, do you remember? Yellow bell peppers, I think. No, they were also green. Oh, this start with the P. Curtido betabel. That's see, es lo que hicimos. ¿Y qué tipo de peppers usamos ahí? Hielo. Poblano. Sí. Poblanos. Very good. And then the first recipe that had peppers in it. Remember when we talked about plums? A while ago. What kind of peppers did we use there? Particularly. What kind? Orange pepper? Yeah, they were also bell peppers. Oh, yeah, the orange ones. Yeah. Okay. So, there's also, um, there's tons and tons of different types of peppers. There's shishito peppers, so the little, little ones, and a lot of them, they're really popular in Spain. 
and there's serrano peppers, right? And there's uh, habanero and pimiento de padrón. I found out there's one called Dragon. What do you think dragon's breath pepper tastes like? Whoa, dragon breath. Spicy, spicy, very spicy, very, very spicy. spicy. What about That's ghost peppers? People coming out, right? It's ghost peppers. They're way, 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 way more spicy than the jalapenos and um, and any of the ones that we've talked about. So there's lots of different types. There's peppers that come from Asia and from Latin America and from all parts of the of the world. Um, so what do you guys make with peppers at home? How do you make them? Sauce. How do you make them at home? Uh, chiles rellenos. Yeah, chiles rellenos. You have a fancy kitchen at home. But <laughs> what I else? knew that one was going to come up. Chiles rellenos for sure. Okay. okay. What else? What? Uh, how? What else do you do with your peppers? Salsa. Salsa. Do you ever eat raw peppers? Comen, comen los pimientos crudos? Sí. sí. Yes. With the beans. With the beans. Okay, I think you're leading me to the recipe. Okay. <laughs> I'll move on. <laughs> so we can either also we can grill peppers, right? We can roast them, we can saute them, we can blister peppers that like they look like they have blisters and you can peel the skin off on the skillet. So lots of things to do with peppers, right? And of course we can stuff them. That's so tasty. Chiles rellenos. Okay. So our recipe, you guys like last time you're gonna help me name our ingredients, right? I'll turn the no. I'll bring it up. So, what do we have here? What's this leaf? Isn't that basil? Mm -mm. It looks like it, you're right. But it could also be really big, like way, way bigger. Spinacas? Yes, espinacas. Spinach, bebe. Spinach, bebe. Some baby spinach. Y también es una mezcla. La receta dice uno o el otro, pero... Yo decidí mezclar los dos. What this? Um, no, 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 no. Scan. Mm. Uh -huh. ¿Eh? Uh -huh. Ay, no, 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 Yeah. We're gonna have our famous, right? Our, our bell peppers, right? And then we're gonna have what's this, guys? That's our that's from last week. Onion. So we yes. onion. Yep. Yeah. And then what well, we talked about, what are these? Beans. Oh, beans. Why beans? Why beans? Cannellini or something. Yes, they're called cannellini. And I got them, um, you can get them out of a can. I got them out of this box. Boxes are better than cans. If you can get them, they have also less salt sometimes. Canned food has a lot of salt in them. We should be careful. Um, and Or you can get the dry ones, soak them overnight. Cook them. It takes a really long time, but if you have time, that's the best way to cook the beans. Mm. Um, and then we have, right, our balsamic vinegar and oil. Today I'm using sunflower oil, aceite de girasol, because I really, really love the taste of it. Um, and then we have what you guys reminded me of last time. So. Right? Salt and pepper. Okay, I'm gonna turn this uh, this camera on. You guys can see it, yeah? Yeah. Okay, oh, and one other ingredient. What's this, guys? What? I'm having trouble, okay. Garlic. Good job, so we have garlic too. Okay, so this is gonna be a pretty fast salad. It's 
Um, so we're going to start off with our green base, right? A beautiful. Again, we're going to have a rainbow in our in our dish as always. Um, we're going to start with that, and then we're going to add the peppers, right? And something that kids can help with in the kitchen, they can always wash the peppers, right? Mm. And peppers always have seeds in them, right? So they can help with taking the seeds out. Mm. Si los right. niños pueden ayudar a lavar la, las, los pimientos o también pueden eh, sacarles las semillas. Sí. Quitar las semillas. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as it's not a jalapeño, because that will, you have to be careful with those. But these Ajá. are, you can shake them out. It's like a maraca. You can shake <laughs> You can shake it out. And then you can slice it. So kids can help with that, and that's fun, right? You can cut it open and shake out all the seeds. Shake so, out all the seeds. Yeah. Do you guys want to shake the seeds out with me? All right. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Yes. Yeah. There you go. And the seeds are gone. Okay. And then we're going to, uh, the red pepper, I mean, sorry, the red onion. It's already sliced here, right? We're going to add that. Look at how beautiful this is. Wow. Yeah. And then uh, our beans. Our beans are beans. Uh, you should, if you're getting the beans out of a can or um, a box, right? You should wash them in a, in a strainer, just like we did with the chickpeas, the garbanzos from last week. They have that water in them, so you, sh you can wash them. And you add these. Right? So beautiful. Wow. We're gonna mince like we did last time. We're gonna mince the garlic. Do you guys remember what mincing means? Oh, very thinly. Yeah, yes. very thinly. So it's already chopped, right? Now we're gonna mince it and we're gonna help with the knife. And you go up and down like that. And just very careful because you don't wanna get big chunks of garlic, right? Um, and this is for the dressing. So you can either add everything in together, but I'll do it in a, in a separate bowl. Um, I'll add the garlic. So now it's minced, right? And we're gonna do our olive oil or sunflower oil today. Um, one tablespoon. Right, I'll add a little more because I love the taste of it. And then we have balsamic vinegar. Or you can use another type of vinegar, but right. And then you mix it. And of course, what are we going to add, Gustavo? Salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had to go back to the kitchen because I forgot the salt and pepper. <laughs> no. <laughs> I heard your voice and I thought, oh my God, I can't do it twice in a row. <laughs> Salt and pepper to taste, right? And then we're gonna give it a good mix. So you guys are gonna help me mix? Ready? Pretend you have your bowl and your mixing spoon. There we go. Good job. Hey, hey, hey. Really helping me. Ooh, I wanna make this recipe. Flavors, right? It's beautiful. And then we're gonna add it to the <laughs> Right? And then we're gonna give it a good mix. All the flavors and the colors blend together. What else could we add to the salad? Any ideas? ¿Qué podemos, uh, qué, qué pondrían? Lemon juice. Lemon, that's a very good idea. I think we should tell whoever made the recipe. I think they forgot the lemon juice. <laughs> I didn't, but I think it's a great idea. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más puede, podemos poner aquí en esta ensalada? ¿Qué otras verduras tienen en casa? Jalapeño. Ay, papá. Ok. Te quieren matar. 
aguacates. Go well. ¿Qué más? Oh, aguacate. Oh, oh, that sounds so good. That sounds really good. Okay, aguacate. I think that's excellent. Tomatoes. Tomatoes, yeah. Pepino. Pepino, oh. yes, pepino. I have so many pepinos at home right now. I think I'm going to add right after. Do you guys see, like, in five minutes we have a salad and we can add so many more vegetables, right? Mm -hmm. Apple. Mm -hmm. Cilantro. Cilantro, un poco de maíz o garbanzos. Sí, oh, maíz, maíz también. Yeah. Zanahoria, expression. Zanahoria. Wow. We can have a huge salad. Cilantro. Jitomate cilantro. de bolita. Yeah. Cilantro. Cilantro. Okay, guys, Cilantro. Cilantro. Carne. Ready. Un pollito. <laughs> oh, unos camarones. <laughs> Un pollito rostizado, asado. I like where this is going. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put some in a bowl. I wish you were here, or I wish I was there so we can try it together. And friends, now that uh, some some of some of uh, some of the mummies on, on the call were talking about meat, some people who don't eat meat actually eat a lot of beans because beans are just as filling as meat can be. So yeah, yep, they're good. replacement for meat. Yes. Okay, we can we can leave the spotlight. There we go. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Ready to try? I've actually never made a salad like this, but I do love beans. So here we go. Here we remember, go, friends. Oh, remember our tastes from last week? Oh, what kind of taste do we have here? Do you guys remember? Last week we talked about all of the different tastes that we can, all of the different flavors we can taste with our tongue. Remember that? What do we have in the salad? Daddy. Do we have something sweet? <laughs> ¿Tenemos algo dulce? ¿Cómo creen que va, cómo creen que vas a, el, que va a ser el sabor de la ensalada? Savory. Savory. Okay, so we have savory, sweet. Sweet, what, what's sweet in here? A little bit sweet. What do you think? ¿Qué es dulce en la ensalada? Pepper. Pepper. Yeah, the yellow, the yellow pepper is sweeter than the than the green one. Savory beans. Savory. What are the other three three tastes? Bitter. Bitter. Good job. And that, what do you think is bitter in here? Do you think there's something bitter here? Yes. Yes. I'll give you. I'll tell you a little secret. The arugula is a little bit bitter. It's it's just a little bit. It's very tasty though. Um, so that's bitter, and we have two more. Salty. 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 Good job. And? Do you remember? I see. Sour. 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 Oh my god, good job. <laughs> he needs an apron. Maria, he needs an apron. <laughs> that's amazing. That's good. Good Mr. memory. I was ready for the, for the, for the sour. professional oh, kitchen. Sour here if we were to add the lemon juice that would have been the sour that would have had all the taste the super salad okay i'm trying this it smells amazing Ooh. i want to see your face it's so good Ooh. um it's crispy and the garlic the garlic gives it a little bit of a kick so i recommend it but i really like the one the salad that we created with the pepinos and the tomate and the aguacate and the cilantro so you guys should definitely make this at home. Let us know if you do it. Good. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Chef Lana. I'm gonna Thanks. go back to and share my screen just for a little bit. Can you see the kitchen again? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we're coming to the end of our session. Friends, I want, to, I want you to uh, try the recipe and come by the stand for sure to pick up your health box, okay? Um, Bye. and when you come by, you can say beans <laughs> and I'll be there and I love to see you. So yeah. And you can also pick up an apron if you want.
Yeah, we need more guests for next week. We need more guests for the presentation. Yes, we, we need more guests. Thank you, Miguel, for showing us your apron. You look you look awesome. Are you gonna are you gonna make the recipe now? <laughs> you look, ah. Oh. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. Okay, great. Oh. Next week we're gonna be cooking oh. with potatoes, so we'll have potatoes at the stand. All right, you can get some My potatoes. favorite vegetable. Yay! I'm glad. All right, friends. Favorite recipes for next week. You guys will tell us what you love to make. Potatoes. Okay. <laughs> Fresh. Thank you. Thank you. Homework for next week. Cool. All right, friends, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and I just wanna say uh, thank you and we'll see you next Thursday or Wednesday if you come to the stand. Bye. 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 All you have right. any comments? Comments? No? Well, we love to see Steven's doggy. Everybody, mm -hmm. take care of yourselves. Bye. 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 Bye, Maria. Bye, Claudia. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining. Bye. Ciao, Angeles. Ciao, Santi. Bye. Gustavo, Miguel, Bye. Steven. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.